Okay, so we have to talk about a topic today that I know a lot of people don't talk about, but uh, as filmmakers, we spend a whole bunch of money on cameras and lenses and accessories for all the filmmaking stuff, and we keep forgetting about our workstation, where a lot of us filmmakers spend a ton of time. And this is something that I didn't really invest in until I started doing my full studio and desk setup, and uh, I had to get a bit of an upgrade. And actually Logitech contacted me at the best time, and I am so grateful for this one. This is a sponsored video, so I'll try and be as unbiased as possible. But I was using, the look at this thing, look at this thing. It's ancient, it's a piece of garbage. And I just thought it's just a mouse, it's just a keyboard. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. And when it comes to this whole studio desk setup, it's not how good it looks, it is the ergonomics. It's how it feels in your hand. Like this is so basic. It was too small for my hands, yet, ah, uh, it molds the shape of my hand. So good. USB-C charging as well. This is batteries, like, come on, really? It's 2022, we need to think about, you know, rechargeable batteries and all those kind of things. And the ergonomics of this is just so much better for longer periods of time when it comes to editing. So we're gonna be talking about this and the Logitech keyboard. So why do we need to think about upgrading our mouse and keyboard? Well, it comes down to productivity when it comes to editing. And us filmmakers spend a lot of time on the computer editing, picking songs and all those kind of things. And you really need to feel comfortable and also have a really good workflow. And these things actually help with your workflow, which I really didn't realize. Now this one is the MX mechanical keyboard. This thing is super tactile, I mean, Listen to that, it's even backlit. And the backlight happens to have six different effects. It's got static, it's got contrast, breathing, waves, reaction, where you pretty much type anything and it follows exactly what you type, or there's a random one as well. So that is pretty cool customization. But <laughs> this is so good. The ergonomics of this thing feels so much better than my previous keyboard. It literally felt like a cheap plastic keyboard, which pretty much was a cheap plastic keyboard. Uh, this obviously has a different price tag compared to that. I think it's 269 on their website, but it is worth absolutely every single cent on this thing. Now it is completely Bluetooth and USB powered as well. So you can power this and you can get up to about 15 days on this thing with you actually using the backlight. But if you turn the backlight off, you can get up to about 10 months with this thing. Wow, because it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Having no batteries in this just makes it so much easier. So you don't have to keep changing the batteries out when it goes flat. You just plug it in and you can leave it if you want to. You can plug it in overnight, charge it overnight, every couple of weeks. It really depends on how often you use these. But uh, you, obviously it is Bluetooth, so you don't actually have to keep it plugged in. So, you know, your desk will look absolute mint. Now they do have two different types of these ones. They have this larger version or they have the mini version as well. I think the mini version pretty much doesn't have that numbers side, which I actually like the numbers side because I'm so used to uh, logging into my computer with the numbers on the keyboard. And it's just, it's so much easier than having the numbers right at the top because it's all compact and it's right there. And uh, yeah, just ergonomics of this so much better. Now the size difference of this larger one is 433 millimeters or the smaller one is 312 millimeters. So it is a little bit smaller when you actually want that. But if you want that full compactness, the mini one would probably be the go. But for my choice, I prefer the numbers keypad on the side. So the larger one is my choice. So I guess one of the biggest reasons why you actually get the mini one is that if you did want to pair it with your laptop, you can, and it is compatible with Mac, it's compatible with Windows, Linux, I think iOS systems, Android systems, a whole bunch of different ones. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check out the compatibilities, but essentially it is very similar size to the Mac. This is a 14 inch Pro, so it will come it's, it's literally like the same size as the Mac. So if you did want to pair it with your laptop, maybe the mini one might be the go. Now get this right, you do actually have three different versions of the keypads that you can use. I'm pretty sure 
This is the clickable one and I love that tactile feeling and I know some people probably don't actually like it. So they do actually have a linear one and they do actually have a tactile quiet one, which, you know, if that suits you better, then absolutely go for it. I prefer the clicky one. I absolutely love that. Now this one is called the MX Master 3S. Now I really didn't think there was a difference between having mouses, mice, mouse, mice, these things. I didn't think there was a difference between using a cheap one and an expensive one until I received this one. Like, I just cannot believe how good this thing is. It's literally got seven buttons. It's got a couple of scroll wheels, which feel, check this out. Whoa, whoa, check this out, check this out. Ready? These are little ones, right? And then it's, it's still spinning. How cool is that? <laughs> It also does have a scroll wheel on the side, which I'm still getting used to and is actually quite handy, but I'm very used to using the scroll wheel at the top. And it's got a couple of buttons down the bottom here as well underneath that side scroll wheel or your thumb button, which I'm still getting used to these things and you can actually customize what these things actually do in the app itself. Same thing with the keyboard. You can actually customize where you actually wanna do some screenshots or what your F buttons are, your function buttons. So that is a really cool thing that you can actually customize all these things to your usage. And especially when it comes to being a filmmaker and editor, these things do actually help. Now, I guess one of the coolest things about the mouse as well, and when it comes to productivity and editing or any other app, if you're a, a designer or you just want to be able to utilize this to your advantage, you can actually add applications into the uh, Logitech software and then you'll be able to customize what the buttons can do. And being a Premiere Pro user, this can actually help with a couple of little quick buttons, but uh, I do use the keyboard for a lot of my quick shortcuts, but having a mouse that can do that as well is very advantageous for some people. I think the biggest thing about this mouse right here is the ergonomics, like your hand actually molds directly into this. Like my, my previous mouse was just, it was so basic and it's just too small. It really didn't feel comfortable at all. I just didn't know. I really didn't know there was a big difference until I received this. Like it's an absolute game changer and I'm so, so, so thankful that uh, I've actually got these on my desk now. It's just gonna make my editing so much easier. It has made my editing so much easier. Even just the clicking of it feels so, so good. Now, I think one of the key differences between my older mouse and this mouse is actually the DPI. So this one is up to, I think it's about 8,000 dots per inch. Now that is really accurate when you're trying to dial it, and especially when I do Premiere Pro, like I'm doing like speed ramping and I'm just trying to bring that bar down nice and slow to try and get the perfect amount of percentage because sometimes I need to go to 25% or 30% or 40%, you know, just really dial it in nice and slow and moving this mouse is actually so much easier than my older one and apparently you can use this on a glass surface so if you do have a glass bench because I know a lot of people actually have a glass table or a glass casing over the top of their wood or table this can actually still be used on it obviously you'd still use a trackpad anyway because it does feel a lot more comfortable on your palm and it's just a nicer surface than actual glass but hey if you're in a pinch you want to use this on glass apparently you can anyway but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. The link will be in the description below. If you do want to check this out, the mechanical uh, MX keyboard or the MX Master 3S mouse. So yeah, link will be in the description below. Check out uh, my LUTs as well. And uh, if you want to jump on Instagram and see some BTS of my studio and all that kind of stuff, link will be in the description below for that as well. And that, I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it. Ah, dropped the mouse. See, batteries. Don't have to worry about batteries with <laughs> this one right here. USB-C charging, so much better. USB-C, it's 2022. Thankfully, Logitech are onto it and doing USB-C, and it's not like a really terrible micro USB or anything, so well done. And it's on the front. That is great. My Apple one is on the bottom. What are you doing <laughs> on the front? So you can actually leave it charged and plugged in at the same time. It does happen to go flat right there and then. And uh, so good, well done.